hey, do you guys remember that time that the people of Israel got so terrified of the burning fire tornado that was God that talked to them that they freaked out? And he said, why can't we just have something a little bit more boring? And God said, you know what? You're right. We struggle with this whole idea of like, what if I could be a burning fire tornado and speak for God? People would listen to me. What if church actually looked like there was something more powerful? There wouldn't more people show up. What if Jesus was more than just cute little baby Jesus laying in the manger? What if even the man Jesus, who he grew up to be, that is God made flesh, glowed in the dark, looked like God, did cooler stuff? What if he was still in church making miracles happen so that I could point to it and say, you're right to believe in this, or at least I'm not wrong to believe this because I'm selfish and a sinner. Our Lord meets us in the middle because he actually agrees with the people. He will meet us in the middle then. He cannot simply be the burning fire tornado of wrath because he shows up in mercy and burning fire tornadoes don't exactly elicit the image of mercy. They don't comfort troubled consciences. So our Lord sends preachers. Instead of speaking through the fire tornado, he sends you your pastor, a sinner. And he puts his words in your pastor's mouth and says, speak them to the people. Comfort the people on my behalf. Speak to them my promises. Speak to them my law. Speak to them my gospel. The wonderful part about this is just how boring and ordinary it is. You think you want miracles until God shows up like a fire tornado and then nobody wants to go to church because we're sinners and we will die. <laughs> that he will consume us. The wages of sin is death. What's wonderful is that when we show up in church and our pastors preach to us, we hear the things that God would have us hear that actually deliver the promises that we wish we could see. They save us from death. They forgive our sins. They tie us to a promise of life won for us by the God who advented to deliver us from death and show up on the last great day to finally bring us into his kingdom and the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. When church feels a little bit boring, rejoice because it's supposed to actually be a place of comfort. It's supposed to actually be a place of shelter. It's not meant to simply excite you but it's a place where you can drag everything else that's terrifying and say, God, what would you say about this? And he speaks to you and says, your sins are forgiven. You will live. And he uses your pastor to do it. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.